Hey guys, um, Aragon Angie again, and I've got the Gamo Aero Classic. I've had some of you be like, um, it's been a while, where's the video, where's the video? So things have been extremely busy lately, super crazy. I know it's kind of like a norm for um, everybody now to lead busy lives, but sometimes I wonder. Anyways, I've got the Gamo Aero Classic and I have cleaned the barrel, and these are the um, cleaning cloths that I have, I believe, you see, this was the first dry one I ran through. I ran, I ran a dry one through just to check the sizing and, and how it fit through the barrel. Um, and then this was the next one that I put some, um, I would forget the name of it when I want to tell you guys. Yeah, it'll come later. Um, I want to say castor oil, but it's not castor oil. <laughs> um, the, this is the third. So eventually we wound up with a pretty clean barrel. All right, guys. So you guys are going to watch this upcoming ammo test and you guys are going to go, oh, that's terrible and want to stop watching this video. Or maybe you'll want to keep watching it because you like to see things fail. I don't know. Everybody's different. But don't this, th no, not at all the results of this. The best results are at the end and you need to stick around to see them because I made a big fat boo-boo. Yeah, a really, really big one. And you guys are going to find out after I shoot this first round of pellets to see what it is. But I'm so glad I caught it because, oh man, definitely got some great results at the end. So stick around. Don't leave because you think this first pellet test is horrible. Please don't leave. Or if you want to, fast forward. I'd like you to watch the whole thing because it helps me out. But if you really want to, fast forward through the first session, get to the last to see the best results. The Gamo Arrow is an amazing PCP. I'm gonna take five shots um, just to kind of break it in a little bit before shooting a shot group. Um, so bear with me, five shots. And I'm not gonna shoot any paper or anything. I'm just gonna shoot um, maybe the quadrant target. Yeah. Just to run some through. Five. All right, now I'll go ahead and shoot some groups. All right, for the center target on these um, multi-target um, cards, I'm going to use the center target as kind of a kind of to see where I'm hitting um, point of impact tester. I know that's not what I would normally call it, but that's where I am right now. So, and then I'll just shoot the first. Um, the first one will be the left top target. Ooh, cider. That's what I was trying to find to say. Yeah, that was pretty near my um, cider target. Maybe I should call that a cider and just move over. I'll do that. All right, here we go. All right, so um, those weren't great the first time we shot them. I know that was only four shots, but it's not going to get any better than that. So it was... Um, that was a pretty, pretty sorry group, really. So I'm gonna move on to the Crossman Ultra Mags. Mm, where did that go? I had some issues, so I shot, what I did is I cleaned the barrel and I used the patchworm kit to clean the barrel. Well, I didn't realize I must have lost one of the patches in the barrel and went out started shooting and I started going oh man I should have never cleaned the barrel it was shooting a heck of a lot better before <laughs> so I was kind of regretting cleaning the barrel but thinking okay well we've got some results that the some guns you just don't clean them right until I finished the entire testing with every single pellet finished all the testing and I went to get the pellets to line them up with the target. And I realized my, the moderator on here was looking a little hairy. It had little strings coming out the sides. And I said, well, that's not right. So what I did was I thought, well, I must have lost a cleaning patch in there and didn't realize it. There's two pins on the end of the moderator. You just pop those out. This end comes off and all the entire baffles, everything comes out. So, um, I took that apart, I cleaned it, got all the stringy things out, 
put it back together, went to the range again with the same pellets in the same order. All right, so guys, you're gonna get to hear me talk during the second shooting session because my camera died, my table camera died. Praise the Lord, the, the target camera was just fine and kept running. We still have that evidence, but I had a heck of a lot better results that time. <laughs> um, then I was convinced, yeah, you should probably clean the barrel because though there wasn't a heck of a lot of improvement um, after cleaning the barrel from the first and second um, go round running all the pellets through, the pellets shot similarly every time. There was a slight improvement in some of them. So it seems that something just does not want me to produce a perfect video for the Gamo Aero Classic. Last time I had shirt issues, <laughs> but I could not redo the test because then it would have completely defeated the purpose of shooting it right out the box before any pellets go through it. It would, I, I wouldn't, I couldn't redo it. So it was what it was this time. Um, I've got a more compatible shirt, right? Okay guys, so final conclusion with the Gamo Aero Classic. I'd love to say that it, it's for every air gun out there, but some air guns like being shot dirty. Some air guns like being clean. So this one likes being clean. I know there wasn't much of a difference, but there was absolutely some and every little bit counts. When you're going for the best accuracy, the best accuracy, every little bit counts. So if you, that's what you're going for with the Gamble Aero Classic, you're gonna wanna clean the barrel first and then get to shooting. So guys, that's gonna be it for this test. I'm Aragon Angie. Thank you guys for being patient. I'm Aragon Angie from Backyard Shooting. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya.